So I've been coming into the Landsborough for 26 years, counting uh, mostly mohua, but we're doing all forest birds or anything we hear and see. So you stand in one station, you count anything you see and hear in that five minutes. We do about 174 counts here um, over the two days. It is quite a hard job because in that five minutes of counting, it's really, yeah, you're just concentrating, you're trying to work out your species that you've got and then the actual numbers. So you're not trying to get the absolute perfection, you're trying to get a representation of what's there. When you're doing bird counts, you want to try and uh, decrease the number of variables that you've got going on. So we come in the same time of year every year, which is the third week of November. We always come in in fine weather, you don't want to be counting in the rain, you don't want to be counting when it's really windy. And then we want to use the same observers if we can, and there are people that are competent at doing bird counts. And if we use the same observers, then theoretically, you know, we're getting a, a good data set. The data set is the longest data set, I think, in New Zealand of five minute bird counts by the same observers, or fairly much the same observers. And so we can look at those trends of those populations over time. What's special about the Landsborough is it's, it is one of the last valleys on the west coast with a good mohua population. It's a little bit different actually than a lot of the west coast forest and um, this is an area that obviously the mohu have hung on to because they've disappeared from so many parts of Westland, you know. There used to be mohu everywhere. They used to be one of the most abundant birds and now they've just sort of disappeared down to these little, we've got these little clusters all around the South Island where they're, where they're remaining. And this is by far one of the strongholds actually in the South Island, right in this valley. They're an insectivorous bird, they, um, they nest in holes in trees, so they're quite vulnerable to predation. They're also got a bush canary or a yellow head, and they've got a bright yellow head. They've got a really lovely call, because you just don't see them everywhere. When you do hear them and see them, they're just glorious to see.